What has two horns, a fucked up face, and wants to swallow your soul? If you guess my ex-wife, you're half right. We got the Nightwalker coming up next. It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? We have a miniature right here from the latest Wiz Kids Wave. Sorry it took me so long to make the video for it. I know what you're saying. Well, this shit came out like two months ago. How is it relevant? It's relevant because we're doing the spookiest of all months, October here. So we got the Night Walker from Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. And... I paid, it looks like, $14.99 for this at Guardian Games in Portland, Oregon. And uh, not too creative with the rendering on this. Apparently, if you go over with a, just a bunch of bluish black, and actually, if you find the old Citadel color, Deadly Nightshade, put it on there, and then keep on putting an, <laughs> a known oil on there until you can't see anything anymore, you probably got it painted. So, should be pretty easy to paint. Get this out of the carton. We got a big old base, three inches by three inches. I'll get the me the measuring stick out here in a bit. I'm just trying to get this wire tie, twisty tie off of it. Oh, so we got a little bit of uh, translucent stuff on the back. Didn't see that from the package at all. So that's a nice surprise. Um, yeah, I wonder what we're gonna paint that like and make it look like a nightmare. We got cloven hooves here too, wow. So this thing's like a, like a really big satyr, you know, except maybe from some sort of spectral realm. You know what? I really need to do my research on some of these. Um, some of the newer um, monsters that they come out with I don't know anything about because I just played older editions of D&D. So this probably came out sometime soon or was included in some sort of weird like off book for, you know, like Forgotten Realms or what have you. Actually, I know most of the Forgotten Realms stuff. But anyway, um, I might be a, be a little bit oblivious to it. However, I felt rushed to get a video out because it's been a while since you had one. So this is what you get with me. I apologize, but also I'm not sorry. So let's take a look here. Uh, get the focus to work on here. There you go. Where's that alimony? <laughs> I'll swallow your soul. Yeah, so that's what you got with this. Um, this part's cool. Um, I was not expecting this. So that, that part really, really cool. You couldn't see it from the packaging. So I'm hoping this is helping people make a decision whether or not to buy it or not. It's a substantially large miniature. So not, not gonna mess here. Um, it, it's, it's, it's one of the larger ones. Uh, they charge 15 bucks for this instead of the $5. So let's get the tape measure out and see exactly how tall it is. So it looks like in inches, we're rocking right around six and a half inches from putting base to horn with about probably a base, a pudding base width of about two and a half, no, two and three quarter inches. Okay. So for our metric system friends here, I have, ah, I have bad hand-eye coordination. I have a pudding base size of seven centimeters. And then we are rocking right around 14 centimeters for height. So I hope that helps you guys out. And as far as the actual base goes, not the pudding base, but the actual base, I got three inches round. And I got about seven and a half centimeters. So 75 millimeters, seven and a half centimeters, whatever you want to call it. So, and that's what we got. So, Let's see if I can find our Sir Four Scale, see if he's back from his tour of duty. And holy shnikey, he is. He is back from his tour of duty. Uh, there is Sir Four Scale. He was taking a vacation on us. 
Um, that's the real reason why that hasn't been a miniature Monday in a month is, uh, you know, our star, Sir Forscale, uh, decided to take a vacation. He didn't get injured in his eye or anything like that and had to take some time off and then work 12 days straight because his boss quit. No, no, no. He didn't, uh, he didn't go off and, uh, you know, basically, um, oh, hell, I don't know what else that what what else did Four Skill Sir Four Skill have going on? Uh, he had a vacation for a little bit, and, you know, took some time off and uh, tried to collect himself, and then uh, got really super nasty sick, and and uh, on top of the eye injury. No, 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 he didn't get his mouth shot up of Novocaine last week, so he couldn't talk, and uh, you know, during the filming schedule, and slur all his words together like some sort of drunk. Though that would make for probably better content than what I originally put out. No, no, no. He, um, no, he just, uh, you know, he just decided to take it easy. So uh, uh, we're welcoming Sir Forscale back. Thank you, Sir Forscale, for returning to your duties. Um, you, he was not on strike for any reason whatsoever. Was not working, you know, two weeks straight in a row with no weekend off or anything like that, or, or. Uh, you know, did not, uh, yeah, did not get in any sort of argument of his ex wife. Yeah, you know, nothing like that. No, 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 no. He was just taking some much needed time off, a much needed rest, have you? So, anyway, that's what I have for today's Miniature Monday. Would I buy this again? I always try to ask that question to myself for you. Yes, I absolutely would buy this again. Um, it's great. Um, I got to find the rules for it so I can use it in my games and convert it to a rule system that I use. I have 5th edition books, just don't use them that often. I, I like 2nd edition older, so uh, Thacko and older. And, uh, you know, if you if you get to the 2.5 books with the skills and powers options, um, you've gone too far for me. Um, not that there's anything wrong with 5th edition. There's nothing. I got 5th edition books. I plan on trying to learn it soon and, and getting with that. It's just I don't I don't play it yet. Um, fourth edition, I, I would sooner pick up a pile of dog shit from my front yard. I, whose dog would crap in my front yard? Though? That'd be pretty rude. Anyway, I would pick up dog shit barehanded with not a glo without a glove or a bag in my front yard than pick up a fourth edition book. Um, that's pretty much how I feel about that. 3.5, I tried playing it. It was all right. You know, uh, there's still a fan base for that. So all the old books are still, uh, there's still a huge market for those. So I'm glad I got mine when I did. Anyway, been rambling a bit for just one minute to review. So I hope you guys have a great time during the spookiest of seasons. And I hope to see you later.